Feeling overwhelmed about starting a YouTube channel? There are so many videos out there and it can be intimidating. But don't worry, I'm here to help you. By the end of this video, you will know where to start, what to do, and how to do it. This is the only video you will need to kickstart and grow your YouTube channel. So, how and where do we begin? I've been doing YouTube since 2017. I have over 10 channels. Some of them were monetized and most of them were not. And I have been continuously studying YouTube until this day. So, let me share with you the lessons I have learned throughout my journey as a YouTube content creator and hopefully it can help you too. First, we need to understand how the algorithm works so you don't get frustrated and blame it when your video isn't recommended like I used to do. The algorithm starts by testing your video and a small audience. It observes their reactions, how long they watch, if they like, share, comment, and more. Based on these reactions, the algorithm determines means who else to recommend the video to. That's why sometimes it takes a while for videos to get views because YouTube needs time to find the right audience. Some lucky channels find the right audience quickly while others might take longer. So patience and focusing on what you can control are key. If you consistently improve your videos and keep going, you're already ahead of 90% of people. My advice is to stop complaining, improve your videos, and keep pushing forward. I remind myself of this too. Why do so many people fail on YouTube? Yes, the title, thumbnail, hook, and editing are crucial. But there's one vital element many overlook, personal branding. There are already established creators out there. So why should people watch a newbie, unknown, and inexperienced person? We need to give people a reason to watch and remember us. If we just look like another YouTuber, we'll blend into the sea of content. So how do we stand out? through personal branding. Personal branding is what sets you apart from the rest. Here, my message is crucial, so listen. What do you believe in? What are your life values? I know these are hard questions to answer, so let's make it easier. If you could shout out to the whole world and they'd listen, what would you say in one sentence? For me, it's gratitude, growth, and generosity are my core life values. And I try to convey that in my videos. Never stop learning and developing your potential because life is abundant. Creating passive income streams and wealth to pass on to your kids and the next generation. I believe that we are all abundant. We just need to tap into our full potential. I talk about how to create a life of abundance and overflowing wealth in my book, Abundance Mindset. Now available on Amazon. If you want to grab a copy, the link is in the description. I started doing online business when my first daughter was born because I want to stay at home, take care of her, and have a full-time income. I remember after my maternity leave, I had to go back to work and leave my daughter. I was walking out the door and all I can hear is her crying. I looked at her in her eyes and it literally broke my heart. I was working as a nurse before and I came to realize how unfair it was that I had to leave my own child and take care of others other people. That was the moment that I told myself I needed to change my life because if I don't, I will lose precious time with my baby. And that's the time I also realized that time is the most valuable asset here on earth. When you lose money, you can earn it back. But when you lose time, you can't get it back. So I spent most of my life learning everything online so that I can have time and financial freedom. And then I discovered YouTube. I have seen YouTubers making lots of money by sharing what they know and their passion. So I told myself, I can do this too. It is actually very cool because you make money by doing what you love. When you do that, you won't be working for the rest of your life. It's great, right? When I started YouTube, I thought it was easy, but no, I was wrong. I struggled with lots of things like consistency, content ideas, procrastination, and imposter syndrome. I have failed channels, one after the other and after another, but I didn't give up and kept learning and making videos to pursue my dream of time and financial freedom and make it a mission to share to others because I believe that there is abundance everywhere. There is more than enough enough for everyone. That's my core value and part of my personal branding. No matter the topic, moving to Canada to 
have a better life, personal finance, real estate, mindset, online business, personal development, YouTube video creation. I try to convey that in every video for consistent personal branding. So now, think about it. What is your core value? Let's talk about niche. Do you need to focus on just one niche? In my opinion, no. Target audience is more important than niche. Some YouTubers keep growing even after years of publishing, while others blow up and then disappear. The difference? They focus on their target audience rather than just the niche. If you only focus on one niche, you'll become repetitive. But if you know your target audience and make videos for them, you can evolve with your audience. So first, figure out who you're making videos for. Understand your target audience, including their gender, age, location, occupation, fears, goals, and values. It's also important to know your target audience problems. Why? Because it's based on human psychology. When someone helps us or gives us value, we naturally want to give back. For example, if someone compliments you, you're more likely to compliment back. On YouTube, if you solve their problem or provide value in your videos, they are more likely to engage and subscribe to your channel. And if they really love your videos and see the value, they'll become loyal viewers. Giving value first is the core principle of building an audience and growing a following, not just on YouTube, but on any platform. Once you know your target audience problems, figure out why they're not getting the results they want and what their objections are. Think about how you can help them. For example, if you have a fitness channel and you're helping people lose weight, first, figure out why they're not losing weight. Are they binge eating? Do they have bad relationship with their body? Do they not know how to cook healthy food? There can be many reasons, right? For one of my channels, one of the biggest problems my target audience faces is how to take care and breed birds or parrots. Since my husband is an experienced bird enthusiast and breeder, I get to share his knowledge to my audience through this bird channel. In my videos, I always explain what we've learned, what we're doing, and how we do things with our birds and that's what i make my content about in my other channel i talk about dogs so i make videos from dog diets to first aid to proper caring of dogs and what we do with our dogs first i do is to search for problems that people have in that niche and i try to solve them in my videos that way I am creating value and in return, they can subscribe and grow my channel. What equipment and tools do you need? Yes, video quality is important, but audio quality is even more important. Even if you have great video quality, if your audio is bad, people won't care. I remember in one of my videos, someone left a comment that my audio is not that great. So I got a microphone. You don't need to buy a super expensive mic. But invest in one if you're serious about YouTube. For camera recommendations, if you have the latest smartphone, you don't need to buy a camera. For example, I started with a Canon SL2 because that's what I already have. But if I were to start again, I'd choose a Sony ZV-1 so I wouldn't have to worry about lenses. Just make sure your camera can record for more than 30 minutes. I will list down in the description some of my camera recommendations for beginners. For lighting, you can use natural light. Shoot your videos during daytime. Sit in front or beside the window. It's natural and it's free. If you want to up level, you can use a softbox. It lets you shoot videos any time of the day. It doesn't have to be expensive you can buy a cheap one from amazon for beginners don't invest in premium lighting just yet all you need to use is what you have now and then upgrade later on when you start making money from your youtube channel let's talk about the video creation process first idea generation you need to capture ideas you should know the youtubers with a similar audience to yours you should know the ins and outs of youtube because to be a good producer you need to be a good consumer first watch videos and combine ideas creativity is about connecting two things open a new youtube account to see the videos your target audience is watching and save ideas in one place thumbnail creation and title are your pitch to the viewer 
if they are not interested they will not click on your video i create the thumbnail and title even before making the video for thumbnails keep it simple it should be visible even when small so no need for overly detailed thumbnails don't forget to read data from the ctr or click-through rate if you have no subscribers yet rely on the organic click-through rate if it's low try changing the thumbnail and title for script writing the hook in the first 30 seconds is crucial. If you don't hook viewers, your retention rate will drop. Dive right into the topic and create conflict. After the hook, tell the story and use different editing styles to keep the video engaging. There should be A-roll, B-roll, music, sound effects, motion graphics, and visual aids for engagement. Sometimes, I experiment with different styles of editing as you can see on my videos here on this channel and see what works. For video recording, know the steps and flow of your video to avoid confusion while recording. It makes the editing process easier if you record the segments properly. Write down the steps and follow them while recording so you don't miss anything important. If you want to do it faster, use a teleprompter. This will save you a lot of time recording and editing. In editing, Focus on storytelling. There should be conflict, climax, and resolution. Don't forget to add visual cues and text to make your video more engaging. The editing software is important too, but whatever you use, focus on the story and visual presentation. When I started, I used Camtasia and now I use CapCut. It is free and very beginner friendly. Link in the description if you want to try it out. When uploading, don't forget to optimize your video on YouTube. Add the right title, description, tags, and thumbnail. Follow best practices in SEO to make it easier for your target audience to find you. Allocate time for the post-upload process like engaging in comments and promoting on social media platforms. I hope these tips help you start and grow your YouTube channel. Remember, consistency and dedication are crucial at every step of the process. Subscribe for more videos and if you want to learn more from me, check this video next.